Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 67 plate. It's a Toyota Hilux 2.4 diesel active. Um, it is, I think, two keepers from new. We have uh, registered it to ourselves. We have been running it ourselves as well. Uh, it's covered 90, just short of 93,000 miles currently. Um, with the colour coded hardtop on the back, uh, we had the steel wheels refurbed in gloss black recently. Had a couple of new BF Goodridge all terrains on the back end of it recently as well. We also had it fully serviced recently as well. Um, it's in great all round condition, to be honest with you. Um, we'll give you a run around it now so you get an idea of exactly what it is. Drives really well. It's typical Hilux, isn't it? Fires up, does the job, never moans about it. All good. So roof, as you can see, all looking good, clean, tidy, etc. Coming down onto your windscreen. The windscreen is in good condition with no major stone chips cracking or any damage. Coming down onto the bonnet. The bonnet is also in great condition. They're not known for, for chipping up really, these things, because of the angle that they're at. You'll always have the odd minor stone chip. I think we've got one there. If you do, we're just getting that touched in. And one there. Uh, you know, a couple of minor bits. Uh, these are water droplets, by the way. Um, but uh, yeah, on the whole, all very clean and tidy. Uh, front grille, that's all looking good. Your passenger headlamp unit, that's all good. Your passenger front bumper corner, that's all good. If I get down low from this angle and have a look down the passenger side of the vehicle, there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. It's very straight and tidy. Driver's side headlamp unit, that's all good. Driver's side bumper corner, again, that's all good. And again, if I get down low and look down the side of the vehicle on the driver's side, there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. Um, carrying on around here, we have a couple of stone chips just here. They need touching in. And we have a minor little scratch there. To be honest with you, I actually think I can't get my nail into that by a lot. So I actually think a bit of a mop and polish, the vast majority of that will come out. Wing itself, and overall free of any major damage or anything as i say a uh, toyota gloss black steel wheel bf goodridge all-terrain tire uh, front tires have plenty of tire tread depth on them as you can see all looking good we have toyota mud flaps fitted to it mirror unit this side with integrated indicators all good mirror itself is all good driver's side door glass is all good driver's side door itself a couple of minor probably Oh, we've got a couple of, was that dirt or might even be a couple of chips. But again, we'll go around it with a touch-up stick. We'll get a touch-up stick ordered up from Toyota and go around it with a touch-up stick. And uh, it's only minor stuff like that. Driver's um, door handle and lock is all good. If we look at your driver's door shuts, both the gaps and the actual uh, door edges aren't in bad condition either. No major damage on them. Driver's side passenger door again not in bad condition with no major damage same with the door glass same with the rear handle you've got a little uh, chip there that needs touching up but your door edges are all looking clean and tidy rear tub uh, you always get a little bit of stone rash uh, on the front of the tub there it's got a big uh, ppf uh, what's that paint protection film uh, clear cover on it um, they do still get chipped up a little bit it's got that Truckman colour-coded hardtop on the back. Your rear tub itself is in overall good condition with a factory rear mud flap. Factory gloss black steel wheel with, uh, as I say, I think we replaced the tyres on it at the start of the year um, on the back end. So recent BF Goodridge all-terrain tyres on it. And just looking down the side of the vehicle from this angle, hopefully you can see... Yeah, it's done a job, but it's not been used and abused. You know what they're like. Some of the Hiluxes that are out there, they have been properly worked hard. This thing doesn't appear to have had a massively hard life. Rear light unit is in good condition. The hard top itself, got your normal wonky door handle, uh, which is fairly standard from Truckman. Um, but on the back end of the vehicle, your tailgate on the whole is in good condition with no major damage. Probably going over with a polishing mop would just help it. I don't mind getting that sorted out before it goes. Um, inside at the back, as you can see, clean and tidy. 
Got a Truckman load liner in there. Got the Truckman hard top, obviously, as I've already mentioned. One of the key things of how a pickup has been used is have a look at the paintwork in between the tub and the tailgate. If this is full of crap, or um, for want of a better word, um, it's been abused, then it'll, it'll just show from a country mile. Your load liner and the hard top itself on the interior is in clean, tidy condition, as you can see. So it's obviously not had anything major. Now, when truckmen fit them from new, you always get this here where the hard top lid um, will uh, catch on the uh, tailgate. Uh, what I would suggest is getting a load liner lip fitted over here, um, and then uh, that will uh, uh, treat that, get the lip, plastic lip put over the top of it, and that will sort that out. Um, and get that sorted out on it, that's not a major problem. Uh, tow bar, as you can see, it's got single electrics on it. it. does have reverse sensors that don't work, if I'm honest with you. They never have worked since we've had it. Um, I can have a quick look at it, get the lads to have a quick look at it, see if it's something simple to sort out. Uh, it may or may not be. Uh, looking down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle, again, all looking pretty sweet. Light unit on the back end, all good. Bumper corners, as you can see. They're all pretty good. Normally with these things, they get banged. The rear bumpers get pushed in against the back of the rear tub. Just makes a real mess of it, but that one is all good. Um, hard top, as you can see, that's all good. Tub on this side, all looking pretty sweet. The Toyota mud flap, we've got uh, obviously gloss black wheel again. That BF Goodrich was replaced at the same time as the other one on the other axle. A little bit of stone rash on the bottom, as, as same as the other side. A couple of minor chips here on the fuel flap, but again, we'll get those touched in. Door glass, etc., is all good this side. Uh, and then doors on this side, all good. No major dents or dings. Getting down low, have a look at your seals. Those are all looking all right. A little bit of stone rash on them, but nothing major. Um, mirror unit indicator mirrors themselves are all good. Door handles, all good. Again, have a look at your door edges and alignment, and that's all looking as it should do. We have a look inside your passenger door card. Overall, a little bit mucky there, we'll get it cleaned, but we, we are still using this vehicle, so. Um, but as you can see, it's all pretty clean and tidy. Genuine rubber Toyota mats in it. Back of the seats are all clean and tidy. Door shuts on the whole are pretty clean and tidy. You've got a bit of white grease on the on the hinges and stuff. Your headlining inside is clean. Your interior trim is clean as well. We've got Isofix on the outer rear seats. But it's certainly not one that's lived down a mine or lived on a building site. And what we can see, door cards, etc. all good. It's always treated us well anyway, fires up every time. Just to give you an idea, carpets underneath, they're not caked with mud or ingrained with anything horrible. Uh, we have obviously two glove boxes, your lower glove box, we have your upper glove box there as well. There's your user guides in there, your top of your dashboard's all good, passenger airbag on this side. You know, the plastics on the inside, they're not used and abused or anything like that. It is straight and tidy to be fair and then looking at your seats your seats clean and tidy as are your entry seals and plastics down the sides of the seats are clean as you can see and we'll just go around to the other side so driver side rear door card in overall good condition. No signs of any major abuse, clean and tidy in there. Entry seals on this side as well, clean and tidy. Seating's clean and tidy. It's all very respectable. And certainly, if you're looking at the vehicle, you'd look at it, you'd say it was like a 40,000 mile vehicle. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't show really that it's done 90 odd thousand miles. Door card again, clean and tidy. Electric windows, electric mirrors. Inside your door cards are clean. Entry seals pretty good as well. A little bit of wear here. Really common on the Hiluxes. They actually tend to wear through the paint and go rusty there. So 
when we order up a touch-up stick, get the rest of it touched up, we'll put some fresh paint on there for you. So it gives it a bit of a more protection. Um, vents are all good. Power heat button here, headlamp levelers here. We have fuel flap release here. We have bonnet release there. The pedal rubbers are all good. Under the genuine Hilux mats, carpets are in clean condition. Your driver's seat, as I say, is in clean condition as well. You've got a nice thick steering wheel. Uh, we have volume and search controls on the steering wheel. It does have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music as well. We have, getting into the vehicle, I'll fire it up for you. Fires up nicely every time. Got that pretty nice sort of blue dashboard glow to it. Um, we have auto lights on this stalk. We have re rear fog lamps on this stalk. Indicators are slightly annoying. My phone's just connected up and cut us off. Anyway, auto lights, etc., on there. And on this side, we have your wipers. The torch is now on with the video, so there we go. That will hopefully give you a slightly better view, but as you can see, you still got all the original texture on your steering wheel. Um, we got DAB, I think it's DAB. Let's just double check before I commit the cardinal sin of saying it's got something and it doesn't. So AM, FM, let's turn the Bluetooth off and then it won't keep cutting me out. So yeah, uh, you haven't got DAB, you got AM, FM, and you got Bluetooth music and Bluetooth telephone. You also have air conditioning, heated rear window, uh, blow fans, obviously um, temperature, and then where you want the air blowing to. Down here we have your electronic stability program, we have your rear diff lock, and we have a 12 volt power there as well. Selectable four wheel drive system is on here, obviously H2, Flick it over to H4, and then we get the H4 light that's just flashed and then gone uh, live up there as well. So that flicks over nicely. I'm not gonna do low range gearbox. It's gonna be one of them videos where we keep getting cut into, sorry. Uh, cup holders, uh, yeah, that one could do with a little bit of a clean, but um, we'll get that done. But overall, it's clean and tidy in the cab. Top of the dashboard, etc. all clean and tidy. And it's been a good truck. Um, so it's 2,757, 92,700 miles on it currently. Um, that may go up. Um, we are currently using it daily. So uh, yeah, just inquire what sort of miles is on it if you're interested in it. But overall, really clean, tidy condition. Um, it looks, looks the part, doesn't it? Um, and there are 60 to 70 photos of this truck on our website, which is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Um, I forgot to do a video under the bonnet, but have a quick look. We've got photos of it online. It's all looking clean and tidy under there as well. The truck on the whole looks a clean, tidy, well-looked-after truck. Um, if you need to call us, 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. Thanks very much for looking at the video. If you can be of any more help, feel free to get in touch. Cheers.